sorry about that. I'm not sure what happened. I'm not really sure where the stream left off of, but I'll have to go back and review it. But the stream suddenly died. I'm not sure how that happened. Anywho, we're in a new chat room. Well, Please sorry, select fight your room. Character. With... I don't know if you guys can already see it, but... Unlimited characters! Jin now, unlimited characters are basically their souped up forms of their original selves with very broken modifications and they're usually banned from any competitive play and you're about to see how broken they are and they only exist, you're, they're only playable by beating score attack, buying them for 99 cents and um, yeah. Unlimited Ragna versus Unlimited Jin. Now you'll see the difference between Unlimited and Regulars. Unlimited characters deal much, are faster, deal more damage, and their modifications for moves are severely different. For Jin's case, obviously as you see, he, his ice pillars are much longer. Well, he shoot out three of them. And he has other OP stuff too. Oh shit, that was scary. That was scary. <laughs> oh wait, why the fuck am I running? Oh, that nice jump kick. Okay. Devoured by Darkness is a very scary move. Well, at least I know how Unlimited Ragnar plays compared to the story. <laughs> Level 
So yeah, that's pretty much the difference between the normal versions of Ragnar Engine and the Unlimited versions. And pretty much you can see why they're banned Please select your competitive character. play. And we get to see Hazama. Unlimited Hazama. Hazama. Which will be an excellent treat. And Unlimited Hazma has his own thing, kind of like Ragna. But I've never seen them in action fighting each other, so I'm not sure if it, if it might apply how it is in the story. But we'll see. The ring around Hazuma basically drains life of anyone who's inside of it, making him even more OP, in addition to his insane speed increase. I think the HP adds to Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, the HP that he absorbs for anyone else is added to his own. Kind of like that. And if he's ever hit the barrier, deactivates for a moment. Hit, for a moment, meaning if you get him into a combo and you juggle him. He won't sap your life as he's doing that. And it won't sap the very last of them. So not well I'm not sure if you guys can tell but Ragna's um dead spike has increased well image size which meaning it can hit from an even larger distance especially from any of his um drive attacks 
And Hazma still... Oh yeah. The other thing about Unlimited Hazma is that he can do many versions of his distortion if they're chained from... Um, uh, Serpent's Benediction. There we go. Meaning if he uses Serpent's Benediction move and it automatically works like this. And the moment he does... The moment I'm explaining that he does... Wait, I'm not sure what occurred. I think someone was going for a distortion and then someone got hit and clearly we could all win, so... So apparently I'm going to skip because someone wants a rematch. I'm not saying any names. See ya. Let me skip. Oh, let me skip. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Take another one. Please select your character. Hazama. Another thing to know, to know if you're fighting against an unlimited character, if you look at their names, normally it wouldn't be glowing purple. But because they are unlimited, they can now help that And that was a hospital. I love how even though he took damage but he recovered it, it still gives him that. Sorry about that, there's something on my 
I just got word that this is the final battle.
guess I'll save this one too. Actually, no, no, because I've lost two to the line. Yes, I am a board saving. Oh yeah.